Guillermo, by Gloria. I have a joint appointment, 70% in the School of Natural Resources and 30% in the Department of Agronomy and Horticulture. I began my career as a meteorologist and then because I wanted you know, to, to be a biologist too, I made my master in uh, agronomy and then I learned that I could put them together and I made my PhD in soil sciences. What I do is um, I try to use climate information to support a agriculture related uh, industries in order to reduce risk of uh, agriculture related to climate or take advantage of uh, the climate. The first funded project I have is funded by NASA. We are working in 11 countries in the Great Horn of Africa and the idea is to use a climate forecast, basically, specifically climate uh, change information to predict what will happen with the productivity of, uh, of the crops, especially corn and wheat in these 11 countries in, in Africa. And the other project, big project, uh, is called ACMIP, is the Agricultural Model Intercomparison Project. Okay, and what we are doing is again taking the climate forecasts, climate uh, projections from climate change, and uh, analyzing the impacts of uh, climate change in rice and wheat production in the region. And the third one, I am launching this uh, in this international meeting, the International Consortium for Categorical Applications in uh, Agroclimatology and Hydroclimatology. And the idea is to use not climate change in this case, but seasonal climate. So basically we will be using that data with my uh, softwares and immediately we will be producing all the analysis in questions of uh, hours or maybe days. My idea is to uh, to produce tools okay, in order to capture as much as possible the effect of climate variability and change, okay, its effect in uh, agriculture. It is to give useful information for stakeholders to first to learn to trust those uh, the, the information we are giving them, okay, and then for them to incorporate that information as part of their decision-making processes.